Hey there, Harrison Reed here. Case reports are a very popular article type for healthcare professionals to submit to medical journals. But should you really spend your time writing and submitting one? In this video, I'm going to give the pros and cons of writing a case report and make the argument that you might not want to spend the time working on a case report at all. One reason you might not want to spend the time on a case report is that they have limited clinical and academic value. Case reports by definition focus on outliers. They focus on rare occurrences that you're unlikely to see in your daily practice. Some of them you might never see at all. That's kind of the entire conceit behind a case report. Just ask yourself, how many clinical questions have you had that were answered by reading a case report? The answer is probably not very many. That's because case reports only focus on the obscure. They tend to point us towards not just the zebras, but the zebras of the zebras. That's great to pique interest and curiosity, but it doesn't apply to most of the patients we take care of in our practice. Often the learning from a case report comes from the discussion itself, which could also be served up in a review article. So case reports by themselves are very unlikely to move the needle on patient care or on the academic literature as a whole. Most of the time we're writing to have a real impact on patients and the clinicians around us, and case reports just don't do that in as meaningful a way as other article types. Similarly, case reports are less likely to be shared and cited by other articles, so they may not advance your personal career as much either. For the amount of time and energy you invest in any manuscript you submit to a medical journal, you probably want to move the needle a little bit more on both the academic landscape and on clinical practice. After all, most of the things we publish we want to see have a real impact on the world around us. Another reason you may not want to write a case report is that they take a large investment of time and energy. For some reason, people often think of case reports as being short, succinct, and not requiring a ton of effort, but nothing could be further from the truth. Case reports require a lot of energy when it comes to gathering clinical data for the case, interacting with other teams, even the patients themselves to do things like obtain consent, doing a literature review, and writing up a lengthy manuscript. Remember, case reports are not really short documents. They tend to be between 1,500 and 2,000 words or even more. They require a literature review and multiple references, not to mention all of the work it takes to prepare the clinical data that describes your patient case. Because of this, case reports have a large upfront investment, they can take a long time to review and edit, and they might take multiple collaborators or mentors or other team members to get done. If you're really looking for a short, low overhead article, there are plenty of better choices you can make. For instance, a commentary article requires much less preparation, much less research, is shorter, which means it's faster to turn around things like editing. Commentaries also require less collaboration. You could probably write one yourself with the information you already have in your head. People who see case reports as being quick and easy probably aren't doing them right. They probably are cutting corners or missing big steps. That's a pretty dangerous way to approach any manuscript preparation because once you get started, it's hard to correct those foundational errors that you should have addressed at the very beginning of the process. Remember, case reports require a literature review and a discussion section, so you're putting a lot of effort into describing and researching a topic. You could put that same effort into something larger and higher impact like a clinical review article. In addition, case reports often don't fit into a larger body of work, so they don't contribute as much to our overall professional development. We could take this same time and energy and put it into something that builds towards a larger, more collective body of work around a topic we really care about. Another reason you might want to stay away from case reports is that case reports are challenging to get published. Just like you might think it's a good idea to write a case report, Hundreds, if not thousands, of other authors feel the exact same way. Journals are often inundated with case reports and have to decide which among them to publish. Even if your case report is accepted, it might be in a long line of case reports that that journal might publish. While most journals publish case reports, they often only publish one or two per issue, which means you might have a months, if not years long backlog of case reports that you're waiting behind. Very few authors who have invested this much time and energy into a project want to wait that long to see their work in print. In addition to the long wait time and the large pool of competition, case reports also suffer from other publication pitfalls. 
It's very hard to gauge how useful a very rare occurrence is in the academic literature. So you may have disagreement with the editorial staff of a journal about whether your work merits publication. Other article types are just easier to justify from an academic and clinical impact standpoint, so you can feel more confident in submitting a review article that you know has real academic merit. Case reports just offer a little bit more risk than other article types because editors might not see the value that you see. Because of this subjective nature of case reports worthiness of publication, you definitely want to do a good literature search before you even get started to determine if your case is as rare as you think it is or if this condition or disease is described elsewhere in the literature. Now look, there are good reasons to write a case report. Case reports are really important to teach us about those diseases that are so rare we may not see them described in larger populations. Even those very rare diseases, conditions, and presentations are worth knowing about so that we can serve patients who might have them. Case reports can also serve to warn us about rare but devastating complications of diseases and procedures so that we can look out and avoid them in the future. Major threats to public safety and public health are often first described as case reports, so they are a very important tool. Case reports can be really valuable in describing emerging issues or threats that we need to know about before they emerge into a larger population. The first step in any publication, though, is to ask yourself, where is the academic, educational, and clinical merit of the work I'm doing? If you can easily answer that question, push forward, continue doing what you're doing. However, if you're struggling to see any kind of academic, educational, or clinical merit to the work you're doing, you might want to ask yourself why you're doing it. Most authors are very limited in the amount of time, energy, and resources they can spend on academic work, so it's important to do work that fits and contributes to a larger, bigger picture. If you're curious about other article types you might write instead of case reports, go to harrisonreadwriting.com. I have an entire article there that describes the different types of articles you can write for medical journals. I'll put a link to that article in the video description. Hey, if you're dead set on writing a case report, I have a great article at harrisonreadwriting.com that will walk you through the entire process step by step. I'll put a link to that in the video description. And if you're just totally stuck, on where to get started for your next article, go to harrisonreadwriting.com and download the first five steps to publication for healthcare professionals. It's a free guide that will help you find and refine an article topic idea. If this video was useful for you, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, share it with a friend. We want to help everyone get published and find success in their academic work. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you next time.